Okay, we're on Daf Ayin Ches Amid Aleph at Ois Gimel. We now can understand also in the concept of davening and its parallel to the Karbonis, that when a person is misbeinin, he thinks about the infinity of Hashem, how all things are as naught as they come close before him and nothing is comparable. It is even more extreme than just a drop in the ocean. Um, this is the level that we refer to as atzmus. That is, when a person's contemplation is in his knowledge that is rooted uh, with an intensity and consistency and should never passes and it's not fleeting even after the davening, but it is absolutely constant and deeply embedded within his heart in the absolute truth, that from this it manifests itself through the biological process of the sinews and all the way into the flesh itself, uh, that is drawn from the heart's blood, and from there it becomes the source of the character, even of the animal soul, that there can be an ava for bad things, taiva for gashmias, uh, stubbornness, uh, self-glorification, and instead he resists that and he transforms it into a kedusha of the godliness that starts from the intellect through contemplation on the infinity of Hashem, like we say, you love Hashem with all your heart, with both your yetzers, that is the yetzahara that is resides in the left side of the heart that's filled with blood, should return to love Hashem. And this is what we explain in the Kriya Shema. We say, Shema Yisrael, well, Shema meaning to understand, Hashem Elekeinu is one. That is, there is nothing else, in the heavens and above, that the life force that is drawn down in the heavens and the earth is only because Hashem is our God. That is the level of Elohim, which is Tzimtzum, again, like a drop of water in the ocean. And this drop of life force is that which is assumed within the one who benefits and pro produces the matzila, the level of save of kolam, that's higher even than the procedural of ishtalshalis, that this ruchni is gashmias is all the same because before Hashem, darkness and light have no distinction. And from here we say baruch, the baruch shem kapoy, that it is drawn down in the process from the mamali kolam, the shame kavoid machusai, that is, it should be a cause effect, spiritual and material. And in light of this, v'yahavtas Hashem alekecha, that havaya, which should become your alekecha, the higher than, than, the, or, than, than the rational, in the rational or the personal, that it should be subsumed within the orain soi through this intense longing and desire, and there should be no other desire other than Hashem himself, like it says, who do I have in the in the heavens and in the people? Uh, I have or, or with you. I have no desire because there's nothing else. There's only Hashem. Why would I want anything else? And the stimulus of this level of love within the person is the blood of the carbon, because in addition to the flesh, there are the sinews and the bones that are within the carbon that are brought on the mizbeach, and they are fire up the fats and they sprinkle the bloods on the mizbeach, and the sprinkling of the blood is this intense love that is drawn out from the hisbeininess in the gulas ein soifaruchu with mesiras nefesh to the oneness of Hashem, and this resides in the intellect that is embedded within the person, when I want on the base, that this level of love should fire up like fiery blood. And this is because the understanding and the contemplation itself, which reaches to the level of atzmis, is still calm, because the mayach is like the watery calm, in contrast to the fiery flame of the heart, which is the, uh, the resting place of the blood the Yisoyed Ha'esh and the Tzimoyin. And this is because of the Hizbaininess of that which is rooted within him in absolute truth, because it is deep within the person in the deep heart until the point that he has a Mesir HaSnefesh for the oneness of Hashem. He has no desire for anything other than Hashem. And in light of this, it powers up and fires up his longing and his desire uh, that it should be revealed with a fiery flame throughout his entire heart, because all of his heart and all of his desire is only to love Hashem with a total surrender of existence. And then we read, This is the level that is indicated in the burning of the fats and the richness of the animal. So too within the person in his Gashmis level that he is hungry to eat because of the fired up blood to fill up his soul that is starving, that is to fulfill his rutzen and his desires, that this fires up the fats of his body because of the indulgences of fulfilling his passions. And similarly, comparably, metaphorically, in the Aveda, 
that once a person has a passion that is driven within the person to love Hashem with all his heart, this is what he takes to heart, that these matters, Hadvarim, these words of Torah and mitzvahs, that Anoichi Mamish, that I, Hashem, myself, command you, not just the shame, not just the name of Hashem, His glorious name and His kingdom, the level of Amalek Olam and alone, which is only the name of the shame and not the Atzmas, but here it's the mitzvahs, like we say, Asher Kiddishon Nu, we have become sanctified in His mitzvahs, that is completely detached from any characteristic definable as a world, higher than a Shtalshlis, a level of Sevi Kolam. And this is what it means that the holiness of the Jewish people is to Hashem. They are the first of his harvest. The Tvua harvest is a level of a molecule. It's a process because there's every blade of grass has a particular mazel assigned to it from the highest of the highest, which is not the case with the Jewish people who are called racist Tvuasa. They are at this higher level because they are the level of Kodesh, Asher Kiddishonu, Bimitzvoisav. And these express... Uh, and invest the Hashem's ultimate objective in Oynik. Even though the mitzvahs are also going to be embedded in material things, the laws of agriculture, the laws of the holidays, trumas and mysis, all physical things regarding which it says that the instructions of Hashem, but they Hashem, Yesharim are straight, Masam Kelev, and they rejoice their heart. What does it mean they are straight? That they're not just in a cause effect way where godliness is hidden and they come down, that they thicken up. And they go in a manner of investiture that from the Chachman, the Seichel of Elokos, becomes human Seichel. It's instead the Pekudi Hashem. They're direct, they're straight, they are drawn down in the Orin Seif, the way they are above, because they are the Chachman, the Ratzon of Hashem, and therefore they rejoice the heart, the person down here, with that which is revealed to him from the Orin Seif, like it says, to those who are straight, there is Simcha, you surely leave Simcha. And this is the Simcha that comes after the thirsting, the love, to attach oneself to the Urim and say, Baruch Mamish. He takes it to heart that this is the turn, the mitzvahs of this physical world that are laid out before him in these holy mountains. And this is the idea of Yeshurim, that the Urim and Mamish is revealed to them down here the way it is above, without any concealment, no Hester pun. And this was truly what fills the hungry soul and achieves and, and completes his passion, his desire, and the fulfillment of mitzvahs, Torah study being primary of them all, for I, Mamash Hashem, Anuichi, uh, command them to you. And this is what it says, Hayyim, that's the next part of the puzzle. Like we say, Hayyim la soisim, now is the time to do it, because it's specifically in Hayyim la soisim, in our uh, Gashmis life here in this world, that we have of our insight, the set of Kalam, that is higher than Ishtalshalis, that this is the Asiyah Ela, meaning, the idea of Ishtalshlis, of cause and effect, is not only that it's cause and effect down to this physical world, but that the creation itself and its crassness is not created only from the spiritual. And the Ruchnius doesn't have an impact on the Gashmis. Like it says, there is no blade of grass down here that doesn't have a, a mazel from above that strikes it and says grow. That this growing of the uh, um, vegetation of the earth down here comes from this power of, uh, of flourishing that is embedded in the earth through the mazel. And through this creation of the um, tzemach adama, of the flourishing in the earth, and the gashmi stick grass is not only through the mazel, but it's through the divine power, the orin seif mamish that surrounds all worlds, that is before it, the, where uh, spiritual and physical are all one and the same. Hashem, just like he creates in the spiritual for ayin liyesh, so too creates the gashmias from ayin mamish into yesh. And therefore, in the asarim maimaris of creation, it says, Sometimes you and they were lemoiros to the great luminaries, and sometimes it says vayas, like in vayas elkim ashnei moiros hagadolim, yehi rakia, but it says vayas elkim sarakia, toitzei aris nefesh chaya vayas elkim eschayas aris, because when it's ruchnius matters, it uses the phrase yehi. It was, and on gashius matters, he uses the word vayas, and he made. It was an asiya in the gashmis itself, like in the statements of creation. The Ruchnius is not created uh, uh, the, the, or doesn't create in the same way of the Gashmis. And therefore we say, Yisamach Levav, and Aisha rejoices the heart of man, and it makes him joyous and celebratory when he does a mitzvah of Hashem, which is invested in the Gashmis specifically, which is the Oren Seif HaSov of Kolomen. And certainly it is appropriate for this, or this is fitting, or this is uh, satisfactory of his longing. Another point. 
the manner in which to re reveal this uh, characteristic of the Nepshal Akis, when he thinks about the infinity of the Orin Soit, that it should bring about a, a rescue. Pol Yeshua Speket of Ish, and the depth of the heart to love Hashem with all of his heart, Mamish, that it should be a power of that which he desires, and the Nefesh Bahamish should be transformed and become a love of Hashem, a level of Rachmanis to stimulate Rachmim Ramim for his poor Nefesh Alakis that's trapped in his body that has collapsed from this loftiest mountain to be invested in the physical body and the Nefesh Bahamish to sustain it in physical matters, eating and drinking. So here, to the offset to that is in the Pesuk of the Zimra. When we say, he is compassionate. We say it twice. And we say in the Baruch of Yetzir, we say, in the compassion of Hashem, you have compassion. Because it is the way that a person just does whatever he wants. And it appears that this is what's right. And this is his obligation that he thinks, I have to work only to take care of my physical body in whatever is for me. And uh, I won't live without it. And therefore, the spirit of the person is that even though he's flesh, but relative to Hashem, this collapse from the Ein Saif, uh, the Rachamim of Hashem, that is uh, evoked for this terrible Yerida, that the Nefesh Elikis is stuck in this body. And therefore, we ask Hashem for Rachmanis. And we say that even according to my simple intelligence, I don't even know what Rachmanis means. But Hashem, Barachamecha, Aram, and your Rachmanis have Rachmanis. I, mean, I don't even understand what a terrible Rachmanis it is on my poor Neshama. And how great is Hashem's Rachmanis to be uh, stimulating the love within the, the heart and the Nefesh Bahamas through understanding and knowledge of the Nefesh Kis that contemplates the infinity of Hashem, like we say, Avinu Avarachaman. Hashem, you have compassion upon us with your level of compassion, and then we'll have understanding. And this is the carbon tomid that comes from the, the lamb, because the lamb is the quality of Rachmanis, because its voice evokes Rachmanis. And the Rachmanis is, like it says, like a lamb before its shearer, it becomes quiet. And shearing is the idea of the lamb that has wool that comes through its uh, skin, and the skin is what separates between the flesh of the animal and its wool, because from the flesh itself, you won't have the wool. It's only when it comes through the skin. What is the metaphor of this? The opinion of the, of the wool or the hairs is the formation of the letters that are invested in Biya to be from nothing into something. And this creation from the uh, organization of these letters that they should be into separate worlds is through this screen, the level of the firmament. And this is the shearing of that, um, of that wool is that what separates out the, the individual letters from their origin, which are attached to all the Kusmamish, that they should be individuated to follow after the life force of the body and the life force of the animal soul itself, because it becomes so separated. And therefore, they become detached until this world appears to have its own in, uh, existence, regarding which we say that Rachel, Rachel Imenu, was barren. That is, she did not produce any children, she did not produce love and fear, which are the offspring of uh, the person, because Rachel was silenced like the sheep before its shearer. And that's why he wasn't able to produce these offspring, namely love and fear. And that's why we say in Tikkun Chatzah is the Tikkun of Rachel, to arouse this compassion. Like we say, Rachel cries for her children. And then we have a Tikkun of Leah. Leah is the mother of joyous children, that she is the joy that comes after the production of this love that is the product of being the mother of children when there is this joy. And this is the level of the lamb of Rachmanus, which is Yaakov, who shepherded the sheep of Lovan. And Moshe Rabbeinu, who shepherded the sheep of Yisrael, like it says in the Zayar, that Moshe was the Raya Mehemna from the outside and Yaakov from the inside. And the point being, because the Heseris of Rachmanis is from the level of Das, which is a grasping of the Gula Saren Saif Baruch Hu, that as is his name, so is he, that he is Ein Saif. There's nothing comparable that for this reason, when we take the heart, that there, this was his neshama subsumed within the matzi of Baruch Hu, before it came down to this world, before it came down to this physical world. We should have such rachmanis on this poor neshama that's brought down into this physical world. But if we don't have any appreciation of it, then we just do whatever we want. That's why we ask not for our level of compassion, but for Hashem's level of compassion, because we didn't even understand 
what a Rachmanus it is in our Neshama. This drawing down of Das into the Neshama of the Jewish people is effectuated via Moshe Rabbeinu, the trusted shepherd, for Moshe is the escort of the king, and he is the one who brings down this level of Yaakov, this level of Rachmanus, and that's what it means, Moshe from the uh, inside, Yaakov from the outside. And this is the idea that it says in the Parsha. This is the fire of you should bring close. It uses the plural because the bringing close of the lamb is the level of Rachmanis, which is a mitzvah to all the Jewish people. But it is effectuated through Arain, who is the escort of the queen, which is not the case when it says Lasis is a keves, which is the arousal of the quality of Rachmanis to bring within our soul. Like it says, Tase, it's individual. And this is a reference to Moshe Rabbeinu, who brings down the level of Das into the Nisham of the Jewish people, that it should arouse this Rachmanus in the manner that he should love Hashem with all his heart, with the total expiry of his very being, this level of oil and the level of Reah. And then he has Nechayach, that he has this level that is a drawing down of Orin Saif through the various letters of Tefillah, the Reifei Chaylim of Arach Hashanim, which is the characteristic of the 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 wool of uh, of the lamb that is drawn through the leather the skin um w- without being separated like it says that sandal this angel ties the crowns to his master this is the, from the combination of the letters of davening that become the tinig in the kesser as is understood more kabbalistically and always hey additionally we could say that the tomid comes again from the lamp now, there's two levels, the tzaddikim and bali tshuva. And even though we say that the place where the bali tshuva stands, the tzaddik can't stand, and that's because of his intensity. Nevertheless, sometimes we also find that the tzaddikim are at a loftier level. Like it says, with whom does Hashem become king? And then Hashem of the tzaddikim. And the tzaddik is not fearful that his uh, kedush will be hijacked. And we say this is also the level of keves and par, the lamb and the ox, because the, the ox has a much greater koyach. And that's why the idea of the tshuva, or the bal tshuva, who has a much greater koyach, and therefore the par requires far greater nesachim to accompany it. Together with this, the virtue of the keves is that it has the wool that comes through its skin that is made into garments, which is a remiss to mitzvahs, which are called garments in Torah. That is called the head of hair. And therefore it alludes to the level of the tzad. And this is what it means, v'ro kvasim, and the kvasim v'shecha the shepherding uh, sheep and the sheep who, who become your clothing. And regarding this, it says regarding the carbon tomit, that it should be a keves dafka because tshuva is only t- momentarily. But what's constant is to be the level of the tzad, because the keves, the lamb, we could say is the world, like, is comparable to the word for amolus ars v'chavshuha, same letters, to conquer, to conquer the land. And the tzad that conquers is Yetzirah. And also on the flip side, that he is conquered by the Abishta, and he's Mavatl is Ratzin to him. That is, he, the, the earth is conquered before him, and I will conquer them, and so on. And he is also of those who are abused, but do not abuse. This is the level of the quieted uh, uh, sheep before it's uh, Shira. And like the Gemara says on the Pasuk, that they wear their garments, that these things which are conquered of the world should be under your garments, meaning that which is hidden, the Reisha B'Kibsha, all of these different quotes. And the idea being, what is it that is Sisro Shalom hidden because Torah is hidden and revealed and Abishta is hidden and revealed. And Zah is called revealed relative to Atik Yemen and therefore Chesed and Zah, called the Chesed is on the outside and the Chesed of Atik is the Chesed on the inside. And the drawing down of Chesed of Atik Yemen is called the compassionate uh, lamb. Like it says, quiet shtoik, because this was my uh, Hashem's idea. Uh, similarly, in the level of the Tom, it is to draw down with uh, Rachmim Rab in the level of Atik of Nei Hashem that is higher than Hashem. And this is what it means. Hashem Hashem will guide you constantly. Like it says in the, in the Zaya, regarding which it says that it comes from the Kvasim, from the lambs, which is that which is hidden, to draw down the hidden levels of Godness that they should be revealed. And this is the idea of Tomit the level of I never change, and the level of the keves of the mizbeach, that he shouldn't, the, the ramp, that there shouldn't be steps, which is to go humbly, modestly, all of the keves of penal of seve, to the level of seve of kol alman. And like it says, what, what is the reason why the lambs go first, and then the, I'm sorry, that the, uh, that the, 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 the sheep go first, and then the lambs, 
because it's like creation. First you have darkness, then you have light. Uh, and they are light. And this is the idea of Yehuda Tato, which is called darkness relative to Yehuda Ilah. Regarding this, we say that Zov Atzilis is compared to Atik, because the Cyrus, the wool, is za, which is the darkness that is mixed together, and Atik is the is the white wool. And we could say that this idea of the Imre, regarding which it says as Hashem Hamarta Hayoyin, like Rashi explains, it's the it's a, a it's a term of uh, reverence and endearment, uh, like we explained earlier on the Pas Michamecha Beilim Hashem, that this is a, pro, uh, a, 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 a an address to the level of Atik. Now we know that the Rakia, the firmament is the divide that separates between Atzilus and Bria, and there are all kinds of levels of the parsa and the level of the skin of the keves, that after the, this separation of the firmament, we draw down the hairs, which is the level of wool, which is the level of the, this lofty level. So too, the rakia, the firmament separates uh, like the curtain that separates between the holy and the holy of holies, which is not the case by the izim, that from their hairs you draw down, there is an opportunity for unika lichatzenim, which should be hijacked. If so, this suggests that the separating characteristic of the leather is at a low level, it separates between kodesh and chol, and therefore we say that the hairs are ke'eder ha'izim, like the, uh, the, the, the flock, and certainly the other animals that their, their cyrus are not roy really to be uh, enclosed in, in wool. And if so, it's dafka in the, uh, the, the skin of the, of the lambs that we allude to the idea of the parsa and the oasis that are drawn down, that they shouldn't be separated. And this is constantly brought down from the kvasim specifically, which are rooted in the level of krumadavira.